Greetings from Guatemala. So I spent the last two weeks doing a lot of touristy things in the country. I went to Antigua, the most touristic city in the entire country, and I didn't like it. I went to Guatemala City, the biggest city in the country, <clears throat> and, I found, and I did a few videos on the, on the city too, so check them out later. Anyways, I want to check out a more remote part of the country. So I asked a few locals, what is the most remote part of the country you can think of? And a lot of them said to check out the Ashil Triangle all the way up in the northwestern part of the region, about four days from where I'm at right now. So the Ashil Triangle is one of the most remote parts of the country, like I was saying, one of the poorest parts of the country, but also one of the most traditional parts of the country too. And the history behind the Shield people is pretty complicated. Back in the 1980s, during the Guatemalan Civil War, thousands upon thousands of the Shield people were killed. This region was hit the hardest during the Guatemalan Civil War. And because of that, ever since then, the area suffered from a lot of poverty and a lot of other issues going on. Uh, social issues, political issues, and everything else in between. So what I thought I'd do is I'd actually check out this region. So over the next few days, or even the next few weeks, we're gonna go to the Ashil Triangle in the Ashil area and check out what this area has to offer. The Ashil Triangle has three main towns to it. We got Naba, the biggest town. You could even call it a small city. That's the center, the municipal area of Ashil. We got Chahul, we got Kotsal, we got a few other villages in between, Akul, Rio Azul, which means Blue River in Spanish. Join me on an adventure as we make some friends, hear the most traditional, one of the most rarest and traditional languages in all of Guatemala called the Shiel, as we eat some good food, as we talk to some people, and everything else in between. So with all that being said, I gotta catch my next chicken bus uh, to start my journey. So I gotta go, my bus leaves in two minutes. So I will see you guys in the next video. Deuces. A disaster. Como estas? So it's raining right now, it's muddy, it's watery. Cocinar? Sí, cocinar. Hola, como estas? No, solamente un turística, sí. nada más. Y es una casa típica de uh, Vichil, ¿no? Sí. Make food. Uh, comida. Ishtamar. Ishtamar. ¿Qué es esta? Ishtamar. Ishtamar. ¿Qué es Ishtamar? Maíz. Oh, this is corn right here. So guys, we're gonna check out this house quickly. This is what he's cooking right now. Something in a pot. Is sopa? Sí. Bienvenidos a la oh, graduación. Qué bueno. I'm at a graduation party right now. Pollo a la leña. Pollo a la leña. Tú, tú y tú ya. Tú ya más pollo. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. Got a pig over there. He looks really. Oh man, you okay? Oh shit. Yeah. I had bunch bullets to go because I couldn't finish all of it. Check this out. So the way to do it to go is to wrap it in a big leaf and some other small leaves so it doesn't come out. Muchas ventas, no hay turistas. Como la gente local de Guatemala no compran muchas cosas. Normalmente hay muchas turísticas. Sí, aquí. Enjoy my cheese. It's amazing. Cheese and bread. I'm hanging out with this dude. ¿Cómo se llama? Asinto. Asinto. Pau. Ajá, sí. Sí. Panzik con chumbal. Una vez más. O aquí por uh, Boschboles también. Hubiera encargado ya en típicos. Sí. Me compró eso. Ah, oh, un explorer house. Una casa típica de Cotzal. <laughs> Vamos. ¿Está bien? ¿Está bien? ¿Está bien? This one. ¿Cuántos años tienes? Trece. He's 13 years old. Este. Es el, la empresa de mi cuñado. Sí. Sí, aquí está. Really quick, so it's only five dollars for these huge machetes. Check these out. Y por qué no hay hola en su lengua? Es porque son diferentes. O sea, hola como que no tiene significado en Ishil. Wow. Sí, porque antes los señores cuando saludaban hacían esto. Okay, so we're gonna check out. This is a tortilla house. Tortería, tortería. Es a cool. A sí, muy bonito. Aquí trabajan en la autoridad. Sí. Están allá abajo. Sí, son mis amigos ahora. <laughs> so this is basically where they buy the uh, the maíz, right? What they have? Apparently, the lady upstairs she wants to sell me some clothes. She's gonna come downstairs. Whoa! Wow! Okay, okay. 
Dá-me um segundo, eu 